All right, so welcome back to Queek's campaign. And I believe we can safely say that we accomplished a really major objective just recently when we took Karak Eight Peaks. And so I just really want to make sure that we don't lose it, but I don't think we will. Even if Skarsnik decided to turn around to declare war on us next turn, it would take him a couple of turns to get down here to attack it. So I'm going to go ahead and move, well, I've already moved Queek's army out of there. And my intention now is for us to focus all of our armies on Black Iron Mine. As long as they allow us to basically consolidate our armies against a single opponent, that works to our advantage. Because if we have to start dividing up our armies, that's where we'll really start to see a problem because Skaven units are not great in terms of one-for-one one one trade-offs with opposing armies. But anyway, uh, we'll take advantage. We'll, uh, what's the expression? We will make hay while the sun shines. So anyway, I'm going to, obviously, I ha I'm out of movement here on Queek this turn, so I'm going to wait until next turn, but he should be able to get close enough to help join the fight here next turn so i don't think there's a whole lot more for us to do we don't really have the money to do any building i don't remember if i checked diplomacy at the end of the last episode or not so i'm going to do that again real quick and then we'll go ahead and do our in turn yeah i remember this now we had a, a thought about whether or not to join rictus but they're strength 65 they're only three settlements they're really not a uh particularly strong ally if we were to ally with them so we're not going to so okay let's go ahead and do our quick end turn and plan on taking black iron mine in the next turn unless something unforeseen happens okay karaza karak here just a hero moving and that's all we got to see okay we missed skarsnik's turn it just flew right by but i can see that black crag is still held by Thorgrim. Okay, I don't love that. Malagor, we don't want you in our territory. Okay, those savages blew Viper's tribe. Okay, so... Yeah, right here. Let me take a look here. We're at 20, so he's not. he wouldn't have an easy time if he decided to attack it, but let's take a look at the... Diplomacy. Okay, first of all, let's look at this. Okay. All right, that's all fine. Yeah, diplomacy-wise, what is Malagor vis-a-vis uh, -vis us? Let's see here. Um, right here we go. They don't like us, but they're not as bad as lots of others. So we certainly can't trust them to not declare war on us, but they're not terribly strong, at least. So that leads me to believe he would not have a terribly easy time taking a, uh, a garrison of size 20 with the, uh, the garrison buff at uh, level 4. So that would be a kind of a tall order for him, even though we are just Skaven. Okay, now up to here. It looks to me like I should be able to just stay in... Yeah, I can do this. I can just stay in regular stance here and get close enough to reinforce. I don't have to go into march stance. And what are we looking at here? Yeah, they got, uh, they got some decent units, but they've taken some serious damage at this point. We, um, we're not great in terms of the replenishment here, nor the strength of these units. But at least Queek's Storm Vermin, once they get into the fight, will be able to provide quite a bit of additional firepower. So, decisive victory, that is more or less what I would expect. Let's take a look at the battle map here. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and fight it. It's really going to come down to where our reinforcements are coming in from. And the answer is behind us and to the side of us. The next question is which one is Queek? It'll be very interesting to see whether he stays back and launches his grudge thrower 
at us, he probably will, leaving it up to us to, to come towards him. But the thing is, the, more, the longer he waits, the more reinforcements we get on the field. So let's go ahead and start deployment here. So this is Queek's army right... No, that's, that's not Queek's army. That's the other guy. Queek's army is going to be all the way back here. Okay. All right, that's fine. We can live with it. So what we're going to do is we are going to spread ourselves thin here because of those grudge throwers. Just make it so that he can't hit more than one of our units at a time. And you guys, we got a Grey Seer with a little bit of offensive magic. We got a Chieftain. And we got a Warlock Engineer who's pretty low level. Okay, go ahead and start the battle. And let's see. He's... looks like he's gonna stay back. He's not even getting his, his Grudge Thrower close enough to us. Well, I'll tell you what we can do then. Let's send... A couple of the units here that we can afford to take some damage on. We'll send them forward into catapult range. We'll let the catapult reveal it, the goblobbers here, okay? Let's go ahead and I think hit them with a menace below. It's That menace below is not going to last very long, I realize, but we'll get a sense of what else is here. And maybe we'll do a little bit of damage to him. Okay, so we can see how they're deployed now. Yeah, we're really not doing much of anything to them, are we? Pretty, pretty much as expected. So 33 seconds here, 29 seconds. This is good because Queek will come in first. Well, we did. We actually lasted a little bit longer than I expected to with uh, with that. So now I know if I need to buy 30 seconds or so as my armies are moving forward, we could probably do it with a menace below. Okay, so now you, I kind of want you to get, you guys to get shot at. And reinforcements have arrived. Okay, I'm not crazy about the fact that that they've arrived from. I was kind of hoping that all of Queek's army would come in and none of Pestilicich's would, but it is what it is. We got some of our storm vermin in. You guys, I think I may just have you withdraw from the battlefield. Yeah, go ahead and withdraw. Okay, we lost the uh, the menace below, but that's to be expected. Are they shooting at us yet with... First of all, let's go ahead and get all of you guys. Over here, like so, but you can walk to conserve energy. Are they firing at us over here? They sort of are, yeah. I thought I saw... Yeah, there we go, okay. I'm, I'm not trying to exploit the AI. I don't want them to... I'm not trying to get them to waste all their ammunition firing at a unit that can't be hit. However, I do want to make sure that they are aimed over this way so that Queek's army can uh, can approach from the other direction without getting hit. Let's get you guys here as well. Okay, what are his goblobbers doing here? 
There they are. They're not doing anything. They're kind of turning around. Yeah, I guess they are adjusting for uh, for Queek's army. All right. Well, in that case, let's go and get all of you guys. You're my number one since you're the first army. That's fine. Let's get you guys all kind of headed in like so. Queek and his chieftains, I want you to be on two. This assassin, you could probably actually withdraw. I don't want you in this battle at all. Pestilicic, you and your chieftain, you can be on three. And pretty soon the goblobbers are going to be able to start firing over here and hit them. Let's go ahead and get uh, the rest of Queek's army here running. I don't think we have to be quite that uh, obsessive about saving our, our uh, fatigue, our vigor. Let's go ahead and speed things up here. I'm, I am going to, however, go ahead and hit the Goblobbers with another... Where are they? I lost track of them here. Somewhere there's some Goblobbers around. I'm going to hit them with another Menace Below. As soon as I find them. There they are. Okay, that's not a good idea to hit them with a Menace Below right now. Not while they're totally surrounded by other units. It's okay. It's alright. We'll wait for a better opportunity. Okay, now you guys can, can run as well. All right, I'm going to start uh, I'm going to start charging in from long range here. Let's actually get some of you guys around here on the flank. Let's get you guys moving forward like so. You here in the middle. Uh, did I bring, did I, yes, you guys, you guys need to get in here as well, whichever way is fastest. Okay, the gyrocopters have not started moving at us yet. Okay, it's getting to be about that time here, Michael. Let's go ahead and... Start getting ready to attack here. Let's get all you guys like so. Okay, let's do it. Let's go ahead and start charging in. Slayers hit you from two opposite directions here. Miners with blasting charges hit you from opposite directions. And let's go ahead and get a minute's blow on you as well to stop you from actually throwing your blasting charges. You guys keep moving. You guys keep moving. You guys keep moving. Okay, the uh, blasting charges should have been prevented at this point. Let's go ahead and get some of you guys engaged. You guys try to hit the uh, the missile units. You guys charge forward. You guys as well charge forward. You guys hit them from behind. Where's the goblobbers? There they are. Let's hit them. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, Grace here. Is there a good place? I think I think we're probably better off doing buffs. So let's go ahead and get a buff on one of our decent units over here. Let's go ahead and hit all these guys with a buff. 
you can go ahead and hit uh no hit them okay how are we doing here hit them from behind hit them hit them hit them hit them you get a little bit of a buff so why not let's get you in on them as well you get on them you as well just keep uh, basically encircling them that's what the Skaven are good at because we have so many troops let's go ahead and get you guys over here let's go ahead and get another menace below off somewhere maybe right here try to hit these miners with blasting charges from behind Get, uh, get him in on them. Okay, you go ahead and hit those blasting charges from behind. So you do have a little bit of uh, buffs that you can provide here. You have taken some serious damage. Let's get you out. Okay, Queek, how are we doing up here? We're winning over there. Queek needs to uh, do thematically. He needs to try to find the enemy... In fact, all of you on number two, help Queek out. All of you try to take out the enemy Lord. How are we doing down here? Let's get you hitting here. You, unfortunately, we're just going to have to just let the, uh, the gyrocopters hit us because we have, I think, zero missile units in this entire battle. Pretty clearly, that's my... Uh, my number one need moving forward is uh, is some missile units, particularly if we're going to be fighting dwarfs. Okay, go ahead and hit them from behind. How are we doing here? We should be overwhelming them over here, I would think. Hit these guys. Okay. We've we're slowly wearing down the. Uh, Let's get, let's get a cast off on you. Uh, we're slowly getting the enemy lord down. Okay, let's take a look here at Queek. I'm not going to do that. I don't even know why I still have it on his character because I never use it because it hurts his defense. How are we doing here? We got another menace below. I'm assuming we're overwhelming them pretty much everywhere now. Go ahead and uh, help out over here. We could probably get a little bit of a cast off here. Don't know how much that's... That did a little bit of damage, tiny little bit. Okay. I, I want you on the Lord. Let's get on the Lord here. And did you guys stop attacking? You did. Find the target and attack it, please. You can go ahead and do another cast here on one of our better units. Okay, how are we doing here? You guys not doing super great against... against the, oh, got you units up there. Try to get in. Before the fight's over. Okay, he's his lord is running away. I've got units here that aren't doing anything. I think everybody is pretty well broken at this point. But we haven't... Oh no, not the gyrocopters. The gyrocopters are just going to do their thing. Not a whole lot we can do about that. Eventually they'll have to land. But that's really what it's going to come down to, is how much damage do the gyrocopters do? And also, can we get... Can we kill his lord, please? Now I'll go ahead and use these buffs. And let, let's get the... Uh, the melee infantry units out of the way. Let the characters focus on chasing him down 
He is just a dwarf. We should be able to outrun him. Particularly with our buffs. He's getting closer and closer to the end, however. To the edge, I should say. Where are you at? Okay, it's up to you, Queek. You can do it. You can do it, my dude. You can do it. He's got 1,095. We're not going to be able to do it, are we? Oh, this unit is still in the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! Okay, he's down to 770. Come on, Queek. Stop running. He's at, uh, he's still at 770. He's at 241. One more good hit will do it. Come on, guys. I have faith in you. Oh, Queek. You missed. You didn't do any damage. Nope. He's going to get away. Nope. All right, well, anyway, back to the gyrocopters. Oh, wait a minute. There's one. Oh, he's unbreakable. That, that explains it. Well, this looks like a good place for that buff. How long is he going to be unbreakable? He's not a... Uh, he's not a regiment of renown. He shouldn't be permanently unbreakable, I wouldn't think. Oh, he's got a, ru a rune of stoicism. That's why he's unbreakable. Well, still, I thought that when all the ground units were broken and or shattered, I don't, I don't remember which, that the, uh, the flying units had to land. Let's go ahead and speed this up. He's not expending his ammunition, and he's not losing morale because he's unbreakable, and he's not landing. I, I don't understand what's happening here. He has to land. There are no... There are no other enemies around. He has to land. Okay. Uh, do I have any damaging spells at all that I can use? I don't think Scorch is going to work. I don't, Warp Lightning, maybe? But I, I doubt it. Okay, this reminds me of a battle that we had very early in the uh, in the Kazrak campaign, where I couldn't find a a lord because he was hidden, and the entire rest of the army had broken, but the lord never broke, and I ended up losing the battle because I couldn't find him. Okay, we're getting all the weakest units out. I just don't... I, there's nothing I can do. If he's not going to land, there's absolutely nothing I can do. I wonder if this could possibly be a result of... I don't see why it would be. This is not a result of any mods that we're using because none of the mods would affect flying unit behavior to make it so that they don't have to land. This looks to me like a vanilla bug, but maybe I'm missing something. Okay, do we have any missile units coming into the battle at all? Just keep withdrawing our melee units. Up oh, here we go. Sort of. So 
Is that it? Is this all of my... Yeah. Try, trying to hit gyrocopters with a, uh, a Plague Claw catapult is kind of absurd. Okay, we're going to get all of our... All of you guys... You can all withdraw. You can withdraw. You can all withdraw. We'll leave the storm vermin in the fight. You can withdraw. All of you guys can withdraw. Here we go, finally! We have one missile unit. Wow, okay. And are they gut- yeah, they're gutter runner slingers. They might be able to do a tiny little bit of damage. All of you guys... Get over here. Yep, you guys withdraw. Okay, I want, uh... The Howling Warp Gale here in a moment. Okay, Slingers, go ahead and do what you can. There we go, there's, there's some damage. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Okay, this is a problem. He's going to attack our... Our Slingers, the one unit we can't... I guess there's really nothing we can do about it. Let's go ahead and get a... Uh, is there any chance we can get off a Howling Warp Gale here? Not a Howling Warp... I guess that's really all I need to do is just keep doing the Howling Warp Gale. Okay, I think we're finally going to be able to win because I think our slingers are going to be able to do enough damage to him. Eventually. It's not going to not going to be fast, is it? Yeah, uh, leave a comment if you've ever seen this behavior before cuz I never have, but you know, I'm not an expert. Oh, okay, that's that's not going to work at all. That was pretty pretty pitiful shooting right there. Okay, Howling Warp Gale. Boom, you move closer. Is it that they have to land or else their morale runs out and he doesn't have to land because of his Rune of, Sto of Stoicism? If that's the case, that seems like a really, a really big problem with the uh, Rune of Stoicism. Can we get one more Howling Warp Gale off? I don't see why not. Let's back up. Let's go ahead and cast it. Okay. Go ahead and bring him down. You should be able to take him down with a couple more volleys, I would think. 176 health. Okay. Maybe not a couple volleys, might take more than a couple. Still, we have plenty of ammo here. This is ridiculous. Okay, another Howling Warp Gale. And all you gotta do is 17 points. There we go, finally, end battle. Wow. Alright, yeah, and his uh his lord got away with what was it like 200 health left. Queek jumped at him and tried to 
tried to hit him and just completely whiffed. All right, so the uh, the lesson to be learned from this is you got to have some missile units in your army, particularly against dwarfs, particularly against any kind of flying units. Well, particularly against dwarfs because of their high leadership and the fact that they can use that rune of stoicism to to be unbreakable. Okay, we uh, we took a little bit of damage, but nothing that we can't overcome. We did get a lot of food, so that's good. We got some decent treasury, some decent experience, so all of that is quite good. Now, the question is, what are we going to do here? Do we want to occupy it? And if so, at what level? Or do we want to sack it for the money? I think we want to sack it for the money this turn and then we will uh, we'll occupy it next turn. Okay, our, uh, enchanted shield, armor, and melee defense. That works for me. Let's check and see if... Okay, we did get quite a few ranks here, so that's very good. Factions encountered. We encountered the blue vipers, of course. We already knew that. Okay. All right, let's take a look at... Uh, Mika, you earned it. Let's see... If any, if your chieftain um, needs needs a piece of armor, okay. So we have. Do I ever use cr cracks? Call. I guess I might. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. Before I do that, let me make sure you do have ancient cunning. Okay, that's that's good. That works for me. Um. All right. You have pretty much everything that I have to give you. Let's go ahead and give you Sneaky. You need another rank of Fervor. You need another rank of Blade Master. You need Specialist. Oh, this is the battle agent. So this is the guy that I plan to use both in the army and... So let's give you elusive. Both in the army and as a field agent. Okay, warlock engineer. You get triangulation. Extra missile damage. Came in handy in that last fight. And here we go. Uh, Thromute. First of all, do you have armor? You do not. Let's give you an enchanted shield because you've earned it. Okay, and now back to this. Let's give you Great fervor. Tell, tell the clans. <laughs> okay, we have Morphin Rod here. You get Blade Master, I think. Great, nope, great you need victory. Colossal Strike first, okay. And Sign Surge, one, one, you two, are also going to get Triangulation. Two ranks of it, very good. Okay. Pretty good. I'll take all that. Now, from a money standpoint, we could probably afford to recruit in a couple of more ranged units. I don't think we can do it yet in this province. We cannot, so somebody's going to have to go down to... Uh, okay. You actually have the gutter runner slingers. Let's get... Um, do you guys both have 20 and 20? You do, but you could probably stand to consolidate some of these. Yeah, you. No reason not to consolidate you and you. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's consolidate you and you. Okay, how many spears do we have? We have three spears. No, I'm sorry. We have... Yes, we have three spears. I want to keep all three spears. Okay. Um, that saved us a little bit of money, however. And Mika, why don't you run full speed down toward... How far down do we have to go here? Okay, so... Drink over cause is, is how far we have to go. We got no barracks. Yes, we do have a barracks here. Okay, good. 
All right, so you only have to go as far as Karak Eight Peaks, which really just means to here. You can actually do it this turn. That's convenient. Okay, so Mika, you can now go ahead and recruit in. Actually, this is bad because I can't recruit gutter runner slingers. I need to do something to get gutter runner slingers. Do I want the hidden lair? Is that the priority? No, I want the landmark here. That's the priority. Okay. Let's find a good place to be able to recruit some better ranged units. You don't have any slots open. I think I can maybe get away now with switching him over to uh, Expansionist Planning. Okay, Karak Asgul, you do not have any slots open yet, but you will once I can level you up, which is going to take 13,000. That might still take a little while. And you can go to Expansionist Planning as well. Okay, so what we're going to do we are going to move Mika down to be our southern army. We're going to leave Queek wherever the offensive operations are, which right now is in the north. And then Pestilicic, you are going to be sort of a... Uh, you're going to be a wild card. You're going to go wherever is necessary. Um, but Mika, you come down here and you'll be in a position to be able to recruit in a couple of missile units when the time when, when it's necessary when the time comes okay so now what can we do i think we just need to save our money so that we can start upgrading these things to uh, tier five we're already doing him up to tier four karak eight peaks it's going to be a little while before we have the population to get you up to four Vallea sorrow is owned by scarsnick so there's nothing to be done about that just yet okay all right, I'm just going to save the money, I think. Let's go ahead and take a look here, first of all, at the relative faction strength. Karaza Karak still has 10 settlements, even though we just took one of them. But they are at 57, so they are quite weak. Skarsnik. Where are you at, Skarsnik? Here you are, okay. Skarsnik has only two settlements, but he's stronger than, than uh, Thorgrim. And he is... I believe still probably continuing to lay siege to Black Crag. Sure looks like it. Eight turns before surrender. I kind of wouldn't mind getting a hero unit over there to get some eyes on... Oh, that's right. I lost one of my assassins. Let's go ahead and send... Um... No, I, I want them to heal up. Actually, you could do this. No, I, I want the food. I'd rather have the food. Okay, you're not going to heal up this turn. You are instead going to move in this direction until we can see what's going on over here. Okay. We'll get him back into the army next turn. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to continue raiding, but I can move him, just make sure he's close enough to get uh, reinforced by Queek. And who do we have here? This is, oh, this is the Blue Vipers that we just met. Okay. Well, I don't think they're going to attack the two of us together. Undercity upgrade available. Yes, we know. Okay, let me just check the uh, quick deals here. Yeah, sorry, Tretch. It is time. Just not going to happen, buddy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and end our turn. Keep an eye on the food. Now that we have our resource building built and are building the landmarks, kind of hoping that the food is going to stay in the green. Okay, Rick, this side. 
I'm sorry, buddy. You're on your own. Don't trust you anyway, but I especially don't want you dragging us into wars that we don't need. Okay, we couldn't see anything from Thorgrim. Skarsnik is moving. That's interesting. He's still sieging, however. But he moved one of his armies away. Okay, I don't... I don't like that at all. No, sir, I don't like it. Well, I'm glad that I'm moving... It's not pest. Is it Pestilikich? No, it's not. It's, uh... I forget now the name of my third lord. I'm glad I'm moving him down there, though. Okay. Let's take a look at that army. Um, we got another bell polisher capacity. We encountered... Oh, we must have encountered... Sure enough, we encountered a supply caravan right there. Well, that's kind of tempting, isn't it? Indeed. We are in the green for food. That's good. If I were to... I can reach with Queek. I could move Mika... Okay, how do I want to do this here? Okay, Black Iron Mine, you're first. I'm going to capture you this turn and occupy you... And then Queek will have enough movement to come down here and attack the caravan. I assume I can take that ca Yeah, I can take that caravan. He's got some good Jade Lancer units, but we got some spears, some, some Storm Vermin with Halberds. We got some spears here. I think we should be okay. And then we'll save the rest of Mika. That's his name. We'll save the rest of Mika's movement to try to get down here. And before I forget... I want to take a look at this this army. Okay, that army is stronger than I would like it to be with that giant. We can't see the rest of it. He's level 16, however. That is definitely a concern. Okay, we're going to have to move Queek down there as well because I'm going to want to hit this army with Queek plus another army. But let's go ahead and take care. First things first, we're going to take care of Black Iron Mine first. We're going to encircle it because because we want to get Morphin Rot into the fight. Okay, now we can attack. It's a decisive victory. Let's go ahead and give um Let's give you that, and let's give you that, and let's go ahead and fight it. He's got no units that I particularly worry about. I'm going to rely heavily on the menace below and as we wait for the storm vermin and the, uh, the other characters to come into the fight. No reason to take damage to our clan rats because just in case the Blue Vipers tribe decides to declare war on us, I want this army to be strong enough to hold them off. Start deployment. Let's go ahead and get you guys back here. Start battle, speed up. Oops, could have gotten you. Let's get you over here as well. There may be a, an opportunity for us to actually use him. Let's get all of you. You're my two. How we looking, Queek? 40 seconds, which means 
almost any any second now. Five seconds. Okay, let's get all of you. Moving like so. Is that going to be close enough for the... I'll tell you what, here, let's do this. Let's go ahead and just get everybody in position. Storm Vermin in front. And then let's get Queek. Queek, Warlord, and all of the Chieftains. On one, you are my melee infantry. Almost, almost there. Let's go ahead and get you behind just in case. Okay, we're close enough now. So, and they're moving, so let's go ahead and slow down. Let's go ahead and hit... Hit them. All right, quick. Let's, let's let's hit the blasting charges with a with a menace below, so that they can't fire. And now, quick, you can go ahead and charge in. You charge in here. You charge in here. You guys just keep those blasting charges from from getting thrown. Okay, let's stop with the uh, with the artillery. Okay. How are we looking here, guys? Let's go ahead and get you guys moving forward. Oh. Let's get you in on them, I suppose. Let's get another menace blow off. Hit them from behind. I think that'll do it. There we go. In the battle. Zero casualties, that's what we like to see. And this time we are going to occupy it. The question is, can we occupy it at level three? What will that do to our food? If it takes us all the way down to the bottom tier, then I won't do it. But if it takes us just down to the uh, food shortage tier here, the second tier, I probably will. Okay, let's take a look here. Perfect. Okay, let's loot and occupy. Gambler's armor. Armor. Very good. Ward save. Foul pendant. Very good. We controlled three provinces, so we got a treasury boost of a thousand. I'll take that. Okay. And now, oops. Okay, you, are you strong enough to hold them off? I think so. The garrison's not going to be much help, but what are the odds that he'll declare war on us? Uh, not super likely, I don't think. And normally I would say it's not worth the risk, except I think in this case it is worth the risk because our armies are needed elsewhere. Let's go ahead and give you... Gutter Fighter. Okay, so now I can move you close enough. I can move you to here. If I move you to here, is that close enough? Well, I'm going to have to declare war. Let's see if they're at war with anybody we know. 
Um, wait a minute, which one is it? This is Zenshin Prefecture. Okay, you are at war with no one we know. Then I'm just going to go ahead and declare war on you. Queek now, if you attack, is Mika close enough to join the fight? He is. Okay, let's go ahead and do the attack. Decisive victory. Let's take a look at the field. Oh, it's an ambush, of course. Okay. That's, I uh, think that works for us. Lucky for us, we've got Storm Vermin in our attacking force, as well as some pretty decent chieftains at this point. Got some pretty hefty units in this army. Now we do need them to replenish, however. Okay, and we want to hit... We want to hit the Cav with our... Paul Badir's here. Let's go ahead and get... our... Uh, our least damaged guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get you four... on four. You three on three. The rest of you guys... You're going to be my five, and you're going to go in on their missile units. You guys are my six, and you are going to go at the missile units and these other guys, these Jade Warriors. And then Queek, you of course are going to go towards the Lord, along with him. So you two are my one. You two are my two. You guys get over here. I'm going to use you as wild cards. You can probably be back here. And the assassin, maybe we'll get a chance to sneak you in on the Lord. Now, the one thing I got to watch out for is if any of his cav get away, they could hit our... our uh, Plague Claw Catapults, but if they do, we'll save a menace below for that. Okay, so start deployment here. Four. Start battle. You guys first. Three. You guys second. Five. You guys this way. Six. You guys like this. One. You charge in. You guys, one of you hit him from behind. You try to hit him from behind as well. And you can help out on them. Let's get... Okay, let's make sure that you guys are on the cavalry. You can come around and start hitting them from behind. You on them. You on them. You on them. You on them. Everybody just make sure you're attacking something. I think we're in pretty good shape here. The Jade Warriors are going to start doing some damage to us if we're not careful. However, we should be... How are we doing against their Lord? Why are we not fighting their Lord? Get on the Lord, please. Did I tell them to hit the wrong thing? Or did my units just forget what their orders were? Either one is a possibility. Okay, let me just make sure the... Okay, you guys stop shooting. Actually, you're going to end up doing more damage to us than you are to them. Okay, the Lord is just about gone. Let's go ahead and get a... Uh, and it's below off over here. 
Stay on him, guys. Stay on him. Chase away those peasant archers. Let's get all you guys now on them. Oops. Meant, meant for you to stay on the peasant archers. Okay. Is his lord... Nope. His lord is getting away, guys. Come on. What is going on? Insanity. Absolute insanity. My guys just... Forget who they're fighting. This does not affect speed, I don't think. It does not. We probably had a zero chance to actually catch up. Maybe if I get a menace blow off. Oh, no, he's on horseback. There's no chance of getting him. All right, well, that's unfortunate. We got, we're not going to get nearly as much out of this as I was hoping to. Yeah, it just takes constant micromanagement to, uh, to make sure these guys are attacking the right units. Okay, in battle. I was hoping that the Just Babysitter mod would uh, would fix that. I'll have to go back when I'm doing the editing and watch the video to see if I told them to attack the wrong unit. But I don't, since I did it with multiple attack orders, I would find it hard to believe that I told all of them to attack the wrong unit. At the very least, we'll get a little bit of uh, food and money out of it. Okay, six food, a thousand treasury. Long gone are the days where you would get five times that much. Well, maybe not five times, but you get a lot more than that at one point in time. Let's go ahead and take the... Let's take the food, I think. No, let's take the treasury because we got buildings that need to be upgraded. Okay. Um, enemy killed in battle because his army was destroyed. All right, well, we did the best we could. Now, Mika, you can go into March Stance. And let's go ahead and give you the, the ranks here. We'll go ahead and give you Arms Dealer. And you get Sneaky and Queek, what do you get? Do I want another rank of Crimson Guard? I don't think I need it since I'm not doing any Storm Vermin recruiting right now. Yeah, I need Respected and Feared. I need to keep improving the Storm Vermin. Okay, works for me. And then we got some some more armor here. And as well as a, a foul pendant. This ward save, this is a talisman. It's not as good as that talisman of preservation, so never mind about that. We'll give it to uh, Anuj here, or however you say it. And we'll give him the gambler's armor. Very good. Okay, um... Did I miss anything? I don't think so. We discovered Lorlorn. Okay. All right, and Queek, you still have a little bit of movement, and we're going to race you in this direction as well. Oops, that's my bad. I accidentally moved just the chieftain instead of moving the whole army. I thought he, this army was able to move further than I, than I expected. Okay, now you can move back in. Okay. 
All right. Um, so you're getting replenishment. That's good. You're getting replenishment. That's good. Pestilic, you're getting replenishment. That's good. Black Iron Mine, you are tier three. We want to give you... Do we really even care that much about tradable resources? We're not getting that much in the way of trade. What we really need, first and foremost, is a garrison building here. I think I'll keep this for now. I think maybe I'll build the... How's our... Oh, we're going to... I just realized... We're going to get a, uh, we have an imminent rebellion here in Karak Azul. Well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, get this building going because we need to get our public order under control. You can now go ahead and get in increase up to the next level. One turn away from this landmark, that'll be nice. How are we doing down here? I think I want to save the money for the time being. And the same thing for here. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll have a battle down here. Hopefully the... Uh, the enemy army spawns on the south side of Karakazul. I don't remember now where they spawn. And for that matter, I don't remember if they always spawn at the same spot or not. Okay. So we've already checked our buildings. Our undercity we can't afford. Here we go. This will be nice. Let's go ahead and do control. Try to get that under, under control. And then um, we need seven more recruited units for that objective. We'll, we'll worry about the rest of that later. We have, we're over an hour now. Call me Lord Craventail. To war! Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. Rebellion, it is way, well, not way to the north, but it's to the north of Karakazul. That's the worst possible location for it. But it's okay, we'll deal with it. Reichland. Thorgrim. It looks like he did not attack Skarsnik there at Black Crag. So that's interesting. The siege continues for now, and Skarsnik. Okay, Skarsnik took Black Crag. Very interesting. That works for me. That means we no longer share a border with, uh, with Thorgrim. Okay, Malagor the Dark Omen stopped raiding us. That's nice. And, uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That, uh, that, uh, it's not a rogue army, the, uh, the green skin army there, the black, the blue vipers are now raiding us. So we're going to have to destroy them. Okay, rebellion. Wa fails. I wonder what their target was. Araby sandstone. That's good. That's good timing because we definitely need to be upgrading some of our buildings. We got a couple of ranks. And we got some raiding. Wait a minute, why are there... Oh, yeah, one of them is the rogue... Is the, I'm sorry, the rebellion army. Okay. Very good. Well, we'll, we'll knock out this rebellion. And I'm probably here at... At Black Iron Mine. I think I'm going to go ahead and attack that army with Pestilicic. I think we could win that fight with Pestilicic. Plus this garrison, even though the garrison is a little bit dinged up. We do get lots of menace belows. This right here shouldn't be that big of a deal to take care of. But we're going to have to probably send one of these two armies up there to do it. And then meanwhile down here. It looks like he's not attacking us. Ma uh, Malagor, who are you at war with?
You're at war with uh, Scarbrand. So stop running away from Scarbrand and go up there and do something to him. Get out of my territory. Okay. Well, anyway, we, uh, we're fine. We got a few problems popping up, but nothing that we can't take care of, I don't think. So in any case, that is going to have to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.